Hello YouTube, B3 here, back another kicking action figure review. Yes, today's figure review is over figure I wanted for a long time, ever since I read Forever Evil. It is the Forever Evil Bizarro figure from DC Collectibles, formerly known as DC Direct. Yeah, very cool. This was right before they kind of improved quality control, so I've always been a little uh, afraid to buy this figure for fear that it might break. It'd been on my Amazon wish list forever, but then the price of this figure like went up. I was like, oh, I don't want to pay like 40 bucks for this dude. But then uh, one of them just happened to appear at the comic shop. Apparently he'd been in the window display uh, outside of the store for like ever, and the box had gotten sun damaged. The figure's fine, but the box was sun damaged, and it was brought inside, and it was all like, hey, I can get this Bizarro now for a, a decent price, a good price, actually. So yeah, you know, I just, I was like, screw it, I'll just get the Bizarro. Uh, it was at a time like, I remember when I got this guy, because I had just worked a ton of different funerals. I had made way more money that week than I normally make. So I was like, screw it, I'll treat myself to an action figure, because I really don't get many action figures anymore. I know I'm trying to keep the reviews coming relatively steadily, but I really just don't get many action figures now. Just because of budget. But, uh... Mine turned out great. I have a great one here. There are a few joints I'm afraid to move because I really don't want this guy to break. I really want him to stay nice. But, I mean, he's a good figure. He's a really good figure. I really like him. So, yeah, let's zoom out. Uh, to oddly enough, take a closer look at this Bizarro. Yes, this is the first Bizarro of the New 52 uh, continuity. The one Lex Luthor created and awakened five years early so that he could fight the crime syndicate and have Bizarro's help fighting the crime syndicate and now there's another Bizarro in Red Hood and the Outlaws which is very similar to this one it's Lex Luthor because spoilers and forever evil this Bizarro dies and Luthor tries to create another one uh, he doesn't want to make a full Superman clone he just wants to make himself another Bizarro he came kind of attached to his Bizarro they were buddies he's almost like a pet <laughs> really but they were buddies they had an understanding uh, but yeah, now the new Bizarro is part of Red Hood and the Outlaws, which is, you know, instead of Arsenal and Starfire, we have Artemis, the Amazon one, and also Bizarro. Very cool. But yeah, uh, his legs and stuff design-wise are really the same as New 52 Superman, but then he just has like an inside-out regular Superman shirt, uh, you know. Which is to explain the backwards S. Uh, you know, he's got his crack, crackly arms. Very good head sculpt. I like the eyes and everything on it. Nice colored hair. He looks good. Shiny cape. Uh, mine's not attached right there like it's supposed to be, but that's not a big deal. If I wanted to fix that with super glue, I easily could, but I don't really need to yet. So I'm just not going to worry about it. But yeah, I mean, he's good looking. The only problem mine has design wise is a, a little of my paints like stuck right there. And he's got those pinches on his cape, because, you know, all these action figure companies want to pinch the cape and slide it through the plastic to kind of help uh, keep people from stealing it. But then it just kind of messes up the cape, and I hate that. I really do. But, uh, yeah, articulation, head up and down, side to side, you know, it moves all around. Arms up and down, forward, back, biceps, swivel, you have an elbow bend. Wrist swivel forward and back on the wrist. Uh, he has an ab crunch forward and back, but mine kind of doesn't want to move, and I don't want to force it, so that is that. Uh, same with a waist swivel, which appears to be there, but I don't want to force it either. So, really, I'm just I'm just trying to be careful. With any other figure, I'd try to make it pop and move, but not with a DC collectible from the Forever Evil line. You do not want to do that. Uh, in and out on the legs, forward and back on the legs. You got a thigh swivel, a double knee bend, right there. Ta-da! Uh, very nice. And you have side to side on the foot, up and down on the foot. And I feel like he has this kind of ankle pivot action, but can you call it an ankle pivot? Because it more like it... Yeah, it doesn't really want to pivot until the foot is sideways like this, and then it'll... Pivot. So that's not technically an ankle pivot because it's just the forward joint moving on this foot. So I don't think Bizarro actually has an ankle pivot like some of the other figures in this line, which is fine. I mean, eh, 
People don't normally buy DC collectibles for their articulation, except for the DC Icon line, which at the time of me uploading this might not even exist anymore. So who knows, man? But uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. Now how about we get into some size comparisons? First up, how about we show Bizarro with some movie figures from Mattel. Here on the left, the movie Wonder Woman from Wonder Woman, and on the right, Batman from Batman vs. Superman. Here's Bizarro with some DC icons from DC Collectibles. Here on the left, Mr. Miracle, and on the right, Black Adam. Here he is with some comic figures from Mattel. Here on the left, Earth-23 Superman, and on the right, New 52 Wonder Woman from, on the left, <laughs> uh, DC Multiverse, and on the right, DC Unlimited. Here he is with some TV show figures from Mattel's DC Multiverse, Supergirl on the left, and The Arrow on the right. And finally, the size comparison you've all been waiting for, Bizarro with some other DC Collectibles figures. Uh, here on the left, also from the Forever Evil line, the being Bizarro was awake in the fight, Ultraman. Very cool. And on the right here, from the Greg Capullo designer series, Red Hood from Zero Year. So what are my final thoughts on the DC Collectibles Forever Evil Bizarro figure? Dishonestly, Bizarro am bad figure. Bizarro am bad figure. Bizarro am worst figure. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, this Bizarro is a pretty cool figure. Uh, I'm worried about uh, how fragile it is, but other than that, he's really awesome. Uh, the sculpt came out great. The amount of articulation they attempted to include is good. But if you decide to get this guy, just be careful. Just be careful with him. You don't want to break him. But other than that, you know, he seems to scale well with his other Forever Evil figures and things. And uh, he's just a, a neat figure to have. And really the only figure of this Bizarro design that I believe exists at the moment, at the time of me recording this. So yeah, that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I will be seeing you all later.